What's up, Ken, folks? Back here with another episode of Bubba and the Old Man. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45. There goes Davis. Oh, my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the play. We didn't play our best game today. We did, however, if you want a silver lining, we scored a touchdown on Georgia's defense first time in like two games. Well, really, I don't give a damn about that. First off, this might have been the worst game plan I've ever seen from Mike Bobo. Of all the games I've watched where he was an office coordinator or head coach, we didn't attack the weaknesses. It, when we finally started attacking the weaknesses, we were down. And it was slants over the middle, over the middle, because they were walking up because we were getting two and three yards per carry with the run game. And we never ended up using that for the rest of the game. And it was the most poor, poor performance I saw from our defense in the fourth quarter. They played very well first three quarters outside of a couple deep shots, which is going to happen when you're playing up close to the line uh, and you're playing press man coach. That's going to happen. But in the fourth quarter, they just gave up. Zacoby missed a – I think it was on a third down. He missed a tackle in the backfield. And that, gave that just up can't happen. Gave up touchdown, yeah. We just completely gave up. And it was, I'm not as down on the offense of game plan as you are because there was probably 20 drops by the receivers. I don't know about 20, but there was a lot of drops on that fourth and eight. Boom, completely changed the game. First play, next possession, touchdown. If he catches that ball, even if we just get a field goal, even if we just end up punting, I'm completely fine with it because we moved the ball, we gave the defense a rest, and obviously we come in, sets in minute, and you know what? We just got out talented. I'm not worried about the loss. I'm worried about how we lost in the fourth quarter. If we'd have kept it 34-10 or 27-10 or 30-10, I'm fine. I'm completely fine because, you know, sometimes the other team is just better. And but they were. They showed it. They were not that much better, and it was incredibly embarrassing for them to be able to run the score up. And I don't blame them because we weren't stopping them. I mean – I think it was a decent game plan by Bobo if your receivers catch the ball. I don't know why Shed's still on the field. Yeah, he has. I don't know why he still has a scholarship. He's good for three drops a game. Well, I don't know about all of that because down on the roster, you know, he could have been decent as a bench receiver, but he's our X receiver. He is our X receiver. I don't think he had a catch. Demetrius Robertson played pretty well. He had a, he had the big drop on fourth and eight. Outside Hudson, Kobe Hudson played decent. Yeah, he was our best receiver in that game. John Samuel Shanker, why the hell didn't we use John Samuel Shanker? He dropped the touchdown. Fine. He had one catch that I remember. I don't know if we gave him one in garbage time. He should have been huge in our game plan. Huge. Our, those linebackers couldn't cover him. There were many plays. Bo, as soon as he escaped the pocket, Shanker got open. And Bo, I want to talk about Bo. I'm sorry. I'm not letting you talk, but I have a lot to get off my chest. Bo, I give you a C for this game because there were some throws that were just incredible. There were some throws that were a little off that were just dropped. But then there were some throws like, what are you doing? Why are you throwing a bullet? Like, a, he threw, he was throwing heaters to Sean Shavers. I agree. He's a running but, back. But, I mean, it hit his hands. You should catch it. No, one of them, bam, right in the side. He probably got broken ribs. Bo, and then the throw to Kalen Newton, those are the throws that make Bo such a good quarterback. But I don't really blame him for escaping the pocket early because it's just the, the offensive line did so poor so many times. And then one time we had just a guy running free straight to him, and Bo does the dumb thing on a third and four when we could have got a probably – we could have probably got that fourth and four. Runs back 16 yards, fourth and 20 play. This isn't a defense where you can just run around for 10, 15 seconds. No, but that that's, goes, that's Bo's game. You're going to live with it. You're going to die with it. Yeah, but on that one, you know, and I said it while we were sitting there, if you run backwards or if you, like, try to escape deep left and you turn around and you can't go back right and nobody's open, throw it out of bounds. What's the point in running backwards? One time, he almost ran us out of field goal range at the end of the half. But, and obviously, you know, the people are going to talk about the, oh, should have been a pass interference. Oh, it should have been. Yeah, and it should have been. And we came out the second half, we scored a touchdown. We got a big stop, and they missed a field goal. Bobo comes in calling plays. Nobody gets up. And then there's drops. And it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why we didn't use John Samuel Shanker. 
that was the biggest part that I just didn't understand. And then we gave up on the run. And then we would run the ball. It was just so random. So random. It would be a first down. We'd throw a swing route. We're back two yards, second and 12, and then we run the football. Yeah. yeah but. I mean, it, it wasn't a good look. We played them hard for three quarters, and that's what Harson has to bring in here. He has to bring in a four-quarter mentality, and he has to get his guys in here that he recruits, that he wants to play the way he wants to play, and it's a process. I mean, outside of Troxel, we got nobody we recruited to play offensive tackle. Yeah. Nobody. I, I, and upset that we lost. You know, likelihood was we were going to lose. We we had like a 16% chance going into the game to win. Yeah, I would have liked it to have been closer. Yeah. And I, you know what? And if we lose 30 to 10, you know, Gene Chizik came in and went 5 and 0. Oh. Not every coach is going to do that. And yeah. we ha we are not the most talented team. We look like I don't know. Uh what's the first guys out of the Power 5? I don't know. So, group of 5 well, I know what that Cincinnati. is. Cincinnati. Yeah. We have, like, Cincinnati, which is a good team, level athletes. And we're about to go into a freaking juggernaut schedule. We got Arkansas next week, who barely lost to Ole Miss. And we got Ole Miss coming up later in the year, and that's going to be that's gonna be a, a, a doozy. But I think going into the Alabama game, we could go in with two losses. If we... Play better. Yeah, if we just go out there and we execute the offense the way it's supposed to be executed. And if we get John Samuel Shanker the football. And if we get Tank. How many? How many carries did Tank have today? I don't know. Last time I saw it, he was like 8 for 16 yards. We got to get Capers more involved. We got to get uh, Zacoby. Uh, you mean Kobe Hudson? Yeah, Kobe Hudson. Elijah Canyon. Elijah Canyon. We got. Uh, I, I don't know why these receivers are not getting more playing time. Especially with why the do we playing. keep sending Shed out there to drop the damn football? And it's not. I just don't care drops. if he can run every route perfect. If you don't catch the damn football, it don't matter. And he can't run the damn routes perfect because he's never open. He's never open. And Javars Johnson, outside of the first couple of games of the season, when's the last time this man had a target? I don't know. But Kalen Newton comes up big with a, a big catch down the field. You know, I mean, hell, put him in more if he can catch. Yeah, and he made a great play on the scramble drill. And Bo put it perfect, and Bo played well. And I know people are going to look at it, oh, we need TJ. Shut the hell up. If we had TJ in that game, we would have got shut out. We would have. We would have been completely shut out because he can't damn move. He He's a statue in the pocket, and with the way our guys block, he would have been eaten alive. Yeah. And I know. I'm going to go on to the All About Auburn Facebook page, and I'm going to see people clamoring for TJ. You know what? Start TJ next week. See him get dominated because this offensive line can't block. Worth a damn. And Bo saved us so many times in this game. And he's not the perfect quarterback. And he's not the most accurate quarterback. No. But he's the only option. All right, well, I'll, we got a lot to look forward to. Um, I think we can beat Arkansas. I'm not saying we will. I think we can beat Ole Miss. I'm not saying we will. I, I am going to say we will beat Texas A&M. They're horrible. Uh, I don't know. We will beat Mississippi State. I don't know with our pass defense. Um, there is, there is. I'm gonna say right now, there's no shot in hell we beat Bama. Based off what we saw today, you're completely right. We know we go in and we play them hard every year. We we beat them in 2019, but Mac Jones was the quarterback then, and and that was not the Heisman level Mac Jones we saw in 2019. No, but and I'm gonna hear it all week about TJ. I'm not really worried about the dogs fans because they're all assholes and I don't give a damn about. Them. But I, I worry about our fans. If T.J. Finley had been sent out there, and me and you both know this, he I'm, not, like I'm not arguing with you. And so, I, I mean, I, I don't I, know I, why. I'm just trying to get some back and forth going. You know, just get some conversation going. But I'm not. I'm not. Everything you said, I, I've agreed with for the most part. Yeah. You know, I mean, you can't have a back and forth when it's agree, no, I, agree, I, agree. You no, know, I'm not saying back and forth as in that. I mean conversation. But 
Well, I'm letting you get everything out you want to damn say. Because you get mad at me when I cut you off. Yeah, but just just watching the offensive line and defensive line go at it all game. And there were some times when Georgia would send four people, we would block. They'd pick it up, and then Bo would have happy feet and wouldn't set his feet for the throw. Yeah, and that, and that we did well the first drive. The first drive was great. There was a wide open man in the receiver. I think it was in the second half. Bo scrambles around to his right. Don't set his feet. Throws yeah. it too high. Oh, and ends on Demetrius Robertson. And, I, and I, I'm sorry. I cussed in front of my grandmother on accident. I just screamed, set your damn feet. Because the guy behind him fell down, and he's going to run up to the line of scrimmage and off one foot hop, bam, sails it over his head. He had, per he had a time to just hop, set his feet, bam. That's a touchdown back in the game. But, you know, do you have anything else to say? Uh, it just, it's a disappointing loss uh, because it's Georgia. I never liked losing to Georgia. Them ignorant fuckers ain't won shit since 1980. I don't know why they, they brag so goddamn much. But, you know, uh, got to take your hats off to him. Seth and Bennett. Uh, we said going into the game that he had to beat us. He beat Damn us. It, he beat us. He beat us. And in the fourth quarter, defense gave up. Derek Mason, get your shit together. War Eagle. War Damn Eagle. Selena, go. Go. Stop.